friends. Welcome to NG Mass channel. Today, I want to discuss a question on the Euclid division algorithm. The question is, find the HCF of 65 and 117 and express it in the form of 65M plus 117N. See, if you are given to find only HCF, this is one mark or two marks question, but whereas to express it, the HCF in the form of the sum of the multiples of 65 and 117 comes for the comes under 4 marks because you have to do a little bit work. Let us go for the first part of the solution that is to find HCF of 65 and 117. See here, first of all, I will find the HCF by successive division that is uh, in earlier classes we have learned how to find HCF of two numbers by successive division say among uh, 65 and 117 which is greater 117 take it as dividend and uh, 65 as divisor 65 what time 65 the difference is to find again 52 is taken as divisor because remainder is not zero. You have to go through the division again. 65, 52, 1 is a 52. Remainder is 30, which again is not zero. Again, you have to go for the next step of division. 52 as dividend. 13 for the 52. Remainder is zero. So you cannot further proceed because the division is zero is not defined. So on this step, what is the divisor? 13. 13 will be the HCF of given to numbers. But whereas you have to write this in the form of Euclid division algorithm in the tenth class. So how do we go through? Let us see given integers. Sixty five one 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 seven. Clearly sixty five is less than one one seven. You have to apply division algorithm for these two. Step one applying replace division algorithm that is uh, division lemma. For 65 and 117. See, already we have done a little bit, bit uh, rough work. From this rough work, you can uh, write the equation very easily. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. That's why 117 is written as 65 into 1 plus remainder 52. It will be question 1. As the remainder is not 0, we have to go for the second step. Again, you should apply division algorithm for these two divisor and remainder. Applying Euclid's division lemma. For 65 and 52. See this division now. 65 can be written as 52 into 1 plus remainder 13. 65 is equal to 52 taken one time plus remainder 13. Again, you are not arrived at remainder 0. So you have to go further. The, further that is for the third step. Now, let us apply the Euclid division lemma for divisor and the remainder. You have arrived in the second step. Same. Applying Euclid's division lemma. For 